Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Fishing the South Okanagan. I'm Robert, and today I'm going to share with you how I prepare my ice fishing bait, which I use shrimp. Now, for sh this here is both a good size that you need, or I, I like to use, for the shrimp itself. Uh, you can use the shrimp that you get in the cooked shrimp with that you have for your meals. Uh, one uh, very important tip, do not, and I repeat, do not go and get yourself a uh, canned shrimp. Though I've tried that before, thinking it's the same stuff, and it wasn't, because I put it on my hook and it absolutely just disintegrated. So it was not a, not a good fishing trip. Uh, for that uh, type of fishing. But what you want is a good piece of uh, uh, shrimp meat uh, that you can uh, uh, cut down into pieces. Now, well, the pieces that I cut are pretty much the same size as my pinky knuckle. Uh, you can pretty much go right from there, or you can go right there, it's totally up to you. Sometimes I make them accidentally too big and I just cut it with uh, uh, my four snips that has a little bit of a, a uh, little bit of a, blade to it sometimes and I cut, cut it in, in, in pieces if I need a small piece or if I just leave it as a big piece it's totally up to you okay so let's get started first you want to do is take the shell off of the shrimp itself now you don't have to cook this whatsoever you can totally leave it raw um, it's totally up to you but I like to leave it raw just give it that fishy smell so it uh, uh, accumulates in the water and brings the fish to, to my hook. So there we have it, we have the shell undone and now the fun part. So basically what I do is uh, cut this right in half so everything right in half like so now, as you can see, you can, uh, it pretty much has vein, like sections that you, if you want, you can totally cut that into that, that sections and, and just use that as a rule of thumb. That's totally up to you. It is your bait, and whatever you feel is right that you want to use, go right ahead. Um, so, as you, like, like that there it would be a, a good size to use to put on your hook. Now when you do put your shrimp on, um, it does look, look a little flaky, which is fine, uh, but you want to find the strong section of the shrimp meat to put it on there nicely. So then, like, like that there might be a little big, or it might be the great good size that you need. It's totally up to you, as I, as I mentioned before. So as you keep on cutting, worms are a good a choice as well, but I, I like the shrimp because it, uh, it's something different and I find that uh, they uh, hit the shrimp a lot harder than they do the worms. Okay. Now you can use a fillet knife if you want. It's totally up to you. Doesn't really matter what knife you, as long as it's sharp and you and you get good size. Now that there, I would probably cut into smaller pieces. This goes a long, long way when you use this as your uh, bait. Uh, basically, you can. Um, use it. Uh, one other general rule that I usually do is if they're not biting within the next five minutes bring your hook back up and change out the bait because they like something fresh. You can also put in um, uh, like a fish marinate, uh, a marinate like a f uh, fish attractor like uh, Berkeley has or uh, smelly jelly. Uh, I've used the smelly jelly myself and I, it's a great bait uh, you would one of you would, I would totally recommend would be um, the shrimp one I believe uh, it's it's orange in color uh, pink is another good color too 
And what you do is you put it in your container uh, with a little bit of a dab and you just mix it around and just let it marinate. So basically that's uh, the simplification of my bait. Um, I'll, I'll do this one off camera, but uh, just to give you the idea of what I do with my shrimp bait. Thank you again. Stay tuned for more videos. I will promise I will post more as, as best as I can. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Tight lines. Have a good one.